Hello there, and welcome to The Long Dark. My name is Jobby Paws, and this is episode three of my Let's Play, doing the bear challenge. It's the, uh, uh, the old bear challenge where the bear chases you from Pleasant Valley all the way to Mystery Lake. Or salty crackers. Uh, I have made it to the radio tower uh, on Pleasant Valley. Oh, premium it's winter coat. For anything. It's ragged, but it's it's beautiful. All right. Um, ooh, we got a cup of herbal tea in the microwave. So yeah, we made it to the radio tower, which is uh, almost at the end of Pleasant Valley here, and then. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to make it to the cave that leads to, uh, leads to, ooh, Warren Mittens, cool, leads to, um, totally blank in here, uh, Mystery Lake, there you go. So, metal shelf, no, nothing, nothing. And, uh, I have, I have a lantern, but it's totally out of fuel, so, yeah, there's that. Um, I guess we're gonna have to, I, I have picked up a lot of matches recently, so, I guess we'll just use those, whatever. We're not going to be, uh, we're not, we're not surviving for too long, you know, in this challenge let's play. Hopefully it's just, uh, oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I don't need scrap metal. Um, oh, it requires a pry bar. Actually, I think there's one outside, typically. I hate that, you know, a match goes out and then you go to light another one and it brings up other stuff. Uh, claw. Please be a lantern some Ooh, insulated boots. Those are freaking awesome. Getting kinda heavy. Yeah, well, you know what? You're going to have to deal with it for a minute. Candy bar. Because the, uh, the fat guy that was working these controls left that candy bar there. Um, all right. Looks like that's about it. Check one more. Oh, I didn't even open these. New sprint, sure, why not? Okay, nothing, nothing. Nothing in there. Alright, so that looks like, uh... Light another one, just in case. Oh, Fire Striker. Oh, oh, can I get to it? Can I get to it? There it is. 53%, that's not terrible. So now I don't have to worry about the matches. Oh, speaking of, matches. Alright, so... What is that? Cargo pants. A decent pair. I think I repaired mine to 100%, so that's not really a super big deal. Um, okay. Well, that looks like uh, looks like about it. Maybe I'll step outside here. Two hours of daylight left. I swear, if that bear is sitting out here, I'm going to cry. I'll probably crap myself, and then I'll cry. As long as he's outside the gate. I think I'll be able to grab the pry bar, no problem. If if it's out here. I've seen it out here a couple times. Come on, Wolfie. Come on, Wolfie. That is not the music I want. Uh, so, negative. No pry bar. Alright. Go back inside. This is a, uh, it's a... It's actually pretty nice out. For, for having crappy, you know, crappy clothing. 21 degrees is not all too terrible. So, let's get in here. I'm going to go into the corner here. And we're going to drop... I used two of my freaking flare shells in the last episode. It's good stuff. Uh, drop... Drop these matches. Drop all those. Um... Let's see here. I can, uh, I can drop those, yeah, because I have... 100% cargo pants. We got these new insulated boots. Those are awesome. Sweet. Uh, worn mittens. We can repair these. So 59%. That'll, I think that takes it up to like 100. Yeah? Yeah? 100? Okay, cool. And those are better than the uh, ski gloves. Because they're only decent. And then the uh, the expedition parka is better than the mariner's peacoat. By the, uh, the wind chill bonus is equal at 7.2 uh, for both, whereas for the Mariner's Peacoat, it only has half of the windshield bonus. So I'm going to get this all the way up to 100%. Don't die of thirst. Don't die of thirst. Okay. Um, 
yeah, see, the wind chill bonus is already better. So let's here. I'm I'm hurting on uh, I'm hurting on calories too. So let's drink the soda and then I'm gonna eat those two cans of peaches. I'll save the other soda for later because the peaches are pretty heavy and they don't have all that many calories. But you do get a little thirst bump from it, which is kind of nice. Yep, yeah, that's that's very good. And then we'll do one more. We we'll only have one more, but. You know, just saying. Oh, are you tired? Well, suck it up, soldier. Alright, so now we're doing pretty good on the thirst and hunger. Let's see here. Um, What else can we drop? Oh, I need, uh, I need more cloth. How many cloth do I have? I have one. Fantastic. I don't want to harvest that. <laughs> it is uh, it's a very nice coat, and I'd rather just leave it on the floor than harvest it. Let's see here. If I harvest the socks, find a match. Let's see if I can find a. Uh, see if I can find some sort of cloth around here. Cloth, cloth, sewing kit. No cloth, huh? Dang. Alright, well. Oh. I'm a blind sloth. Alright. So yeah, it looks like I guess we're gonna have to uh, just carry the expedition. Oh, here we go. We can we can rip up the cargo pants. Oh, and the gloves. Here we go. Alright, cool. So let's give that a shot. I'm gonna spend uh, I'm gonna spend an hour doing this. And then it's gonna fail. I can almost guarantee it. So look at that. We just did we just did those two. We got two cloths, so now we have three. And we're going to repair. 95% chance. Huh, it actually worked. Cool. So there you go. Now it's got the uh, it's got the extra wind chill bonus compared to the Mariner's Pea Coat. So that is awesome. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna drop these on the ground. So, I should be good. I don't need any other repairs. I mean, the only thing that's kind of okay is the long johns. Maybe I will pick up the... Let's see if I can if I can see the ski boots. Okay, I guess I'll use a... I'll use a match, whatever. Uh, actually, let's move that there. Pick up the ski gloves. Uh, we will harvest those. And then... Attempt to fix the long johns. Fix it. Fix it. Cool. Good to go. So, yeah, that gave me an extra, like, a degree. So that's pretty good to go. We are tired. We are thirsty. And we are semi-hungry. So let's eat dog food. That's pretty crappy. And then I'll drink the soda. Yeah, I have the calories for it, so I'll drink the soda and then I'll drink the water. And then we should be pretty good to go to go to sleep. Yeah, we're sitting at 62 pounds. And our, uh, our normal is 66. So we're pretty good when I'm not tired. Um, I have all sorts of wood just in case. Let's see these new newsprints. I can, I can rip these up. Got a little extra time. So yeah, definitely the oh and the scrap metal I can drop. the The hardest part I think of this challenge is Pleasant Valley. Like getting out of Pleasant Valley is just absolutely ridiculous. Um. Let's go to sleep for, let's see if it'll let us do nine hours. Get all, all of our rest all the way up. Um, yeah, just just woke up with, as the day's going to start, drink some water, and yeah, we're good to go. So we're just going to, uh, we're going to pass time for an hour, let it, let it brighten up a little bit. 
And then we are going to attempt to get to the cave. Oh, metal container. Watch, it's got cloth in it. Oh, a flare. No. Oh, metal shelf. What did I miss over here? And a uh, bandage. That's good. Nothing else? Okay. Uh, and that one's locked, but I can't get into it. Sewing kit. Do I need a sewing kit? How many do I have? How about this? I'll drop that one. And I'll pick that one up. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She was questioning my decisions there. Hey, it's an extra 20%. All right. 20% goes a long way on this challenge. Oh, man. All right. So. Yeah, I guess we're going to try and get to the cave. Hopefully it's not windy out here. It doesn't, doesn't sound like it, but I don't know how soundproof that, that tower is. Um, I hear the big boy somewhere. And the thing that sucks is I have no idea if he's sitting like right at the entrance where I want to leave. I have no idea. I can't see you. But at the same time, I don't want to. Um... It's a challenge, let's play, right? We're gonna go this way. We're gonna bank on the fact that the developers are expecting you to go that way. So I'm gonna go this way and run directly into the bear. Watch this. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Don't hear, or uh, think I hear him. Not really sure. Please stand up and yell at me if you do see me. Take a little, a little sprintage, and walk super slowly uphill. It's good stuff. Um, this is me practicing my harmony singing. No, I'm absolutely a terrible singer. I refuse to. Uh, a lot of my friends like doing karaoke, and I'm like. Oh, okay. You're gonna you you will you I you will let me pass. You shall let me pass. These are not the droids you're looking for. You will turn the other way. These Jedi mind tricks are not working. No, nope. oh, you almost turned. They are working. They are the the Jedi mind tricks are working. You're going to keep walking. Slowly and away from me. Is that the bear? Is that the, is that the bear? Is that the bear? Or is that a wolf? What is it? I'm, I'm confused. All right, we're running, running, running quickly. That's a cave, but that's not the right cave. Yep. I hope you. I hope you found a nice little bunny rabbit. Oh no, that's the bunny rabbit behind me. Don't find that one. Go find another one. Oh. Alright, so I have made it off the map once, and that's, uh, yeah, I think I actually did it during a storm too, so I couldn't actually really see where I was going, so this is, this is me hoping for the best, is it up here, I think I have to go up on a ledge, right, to get out, is this, is this it? Seems, uh, can I go up this? Seems like it. It's letting me. Oh, oh, yes, maybe. Uh, that does not look right. At all. Oh, great. Well. Crap. Um. 
This is not not the situation I wanted at all. Okay. Going this way. Um I don't know if I missed it. Okay, well, I hear the bear. So... We're gonna make a run for it. And we're gonna hope that I didn't miss it, and that I run into the exit somewhere over here. Is this it? Is this it? I feel like you have to go up a little hill type thing in order to get out. Oh, this is the dead guy! Yes, this is it! Ha! Ah. Oh, sure into the cave! Old. Oh, man. Alright, so I have made it into the cave. Uh, this is where things... Okay, we have, we have four flares. I'm gonna light a flare. Forget it. We're celebrating. Oh, man. So we are in the cave. Now we have to get through this bad boy, and then I'm pretty sure in the uh, in the in in between map, the bear doesn't come out, and then uh, you have to get through the dam. You have to deal with Fluffy, and then uh, and then you have to deal with the bear on Mystery Lake. So he doesn't pop out in the uh, in between maps. I don't think. Oh, let's not let's not die at this point, right? I hate, I hate crossings. So, we're gonna get down here. Let's see, 11 hours of daylight left, that's pretty good. So I'll probably be able to uh, get through the cave here and then pop out and get through the, uh, the in-between matches. I have so many matches, how, how, how good is this bedroll? 80%? I think it's technically better than mine, right? Oh yeah, so a whole 2%. Cool. I'll take it. Basic gloves, I don't need those. Uh, I have plenty of wood. I have plenty of wood. Actually, what I'm gonna do... So, one, two, three. And that's actually technically lighter than this. The fur firewood. Fur firewood is the worst for, um, weight to the amount of burn time. So yeah, ten ten reclaimed woods. We're actually uh, we got plenty of fire if we if we really need it. So just in case I get stuck outside, which I don't think is gonna happen, I will probably drop all of it when I leave uh, heading into Mystery Lake. I I shouldn't need all of that wood. Shouldn't have a problem because I'm gonna head straight for the trapper's cabin. Um, coal? Where am I? This is not the path I was looking for. Here we go, this way. Uh, and then up. No! Where the hell am I? Is it not this way? Where am I going? Did I miss the path? Oh, I'm lost! Maybe it's not that one? Is it this one? Is there a path this one? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Ooh. Got kind of scared there for a minute. Uh, this way? Oh my god, really? I'm so lost. I'm gonna go this way. See more light, usually that's a good sign. Uh, a dead guy, that's usually a good sign too. Oh, oh, okay. Clipping, clipping on the ground. And the, uh, the frame rate droppage in the caves. Still kind of a little bit of an issue. Alright, here we go, there's the exit. I recognize that. Woo! Alright. Whoa checking the time and totally walked into that wall. So I'm going to get through the dam here 
and then uh, in the next episode probably deal with Fluffy and then head out and that might be the it might be the end of the uh, it might be the end of the series only like a four four episode you know thingy my bobber so Carter Hydra Dam and in environs in environs yes so this is the uh, in between um, Mystery Lake and Pleasant Valley. So yeah, I'm pretty sure because it would really suck if the bear did pop out over here because there isn't really a whole lot of places to run. Um, so yeah, it would really suck, but I think we'll be okay. I think the only thing that we have to worry about here is the wolf, and let's see how, how much longer do we have on this flare? Six percent. Oh, good stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm just gonna drop it. Actually, no, I'm not. It's still warm. That's me being a little cocky. Never be, never be cocky playing this game. It's a bad idea. It will get you killed. Just saying. Yeah, it feels like 26 degrees, and I'm waiting for it to stop making noise. Okay, now I'll drop it. So we're back to the little river here, and then we'll be going out to the dam. Okay, it's it's locked and loaded. I have three shots. So one in the chamber, two not in the chamber. That's I don't know, I think I'd I'd like to have I'd like to have all of them, you know, if, if you're going to be honest. You'd like to have every single one of them, but I'd like to have one in between here and, or two in between here and uh, the, uh, what is it, camp office? Because that's where I'm going to head to. I'm going to head uh, out to the lake area. Because um, I think worst case scenario, I might be able to like jump into a fishing hut and then I have all this firewood so I'd be able to like sleep, um, you know, and be nice and roasty toasty. I don't see a wolf out here. I think I've seen one out here before, but uh oh, I hear one. Oh, there he goes. He's going to chase this rabbit right here. Aha! Run! Bad doggy. If you get the rabbit, good doggy. Yeah, I know you're tired, I'm sorry. But would you rather run away or be bit in the ass by the wolf? I think uh, I think running away is a lot, lot better situation. Okay. See, and then being a game tester, there's so many little things. Like, I want to I wanna crawl into that and see if you can get out. Because that would be a... Uh, that would be a bug, technically. Getting into a spot where you can't get out. It's a, a stuck spot. It's a, uh, it's a bee issue. It's a problem. So, But we're kind of in the middle of this challenge, so I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> and uh, I honestly... I, I only really have the time to play this game, like, to play it. And I'd say, like, 90% of the time when I play it, I record. So... You know, when I'm doing, like, when I did my challenge let's play, I basically just played my challenge let's play. Um, I didn't, like, do another, you know, I don't, I don't have any, like, side games. Uh, I still have the save data for my second let's play that I started, but then I, I cut it about halfway through and started that challenge let's play. So, I still have the save data. I think it was from, like, three three updates ago, so I have no idea what's going to happen to it. That would actually be a nice little uh, little bug test to test out. But, yeah, this is uh, very scary walking across here. Because that is a long-ass drop. And I'm pretty sure for this game, that's probably instant death. Or, or like, 4%. And then you have to deal with the wolf. With a broken wrist, so you can't use your, can't use your knife or anything. Uh, get up here. Check out the backpack. Nothing in it. I got so much reclaimed wood. And we're gonna leave Winding River. 
So, yeah, now we're in the uh, Carter Hydro Dam. And in, in, in Virons. In Virons? In, in Virons. I don't know. Hey, we got another flare. Cool. Since we don't have any freaking. I don't need ski gloves. Don't have any lantern oh, fuel. I don't know. Not really. Not for this. Moldy chocolate bar. I'm just gonna leave it. Orange soda. I'll take that. Drawer. Yeah, you're safe back here. Um, from Fluffy. Because he's in the. Oh, that's not a microwave. I thought it was a microwave. Uh, he's in the, uh, the other part of the dam. It's a broken metal door. Microwave. Put nothing in it. Alright. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you're pretty safe in here, so I don't mind taking the time to kind of, like, look around. There's a soda right in there. I wish this door would open a little bit more. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, who the hell only opens a door? What is that? Eight inches? Six inches? Come on. All right. Uh, we have four flares. Okay, can I get to the flare? Oh, that is terrible. That is some really bad glare off that off that really dirty glass. Go in here. Uh, quality tools don't need that. Go into the lockers. Stale chocolate bar. I'm gonna leave it. If it was a good chocolate bar, I would take it. I just don't. I don't want to risk any chance of getting food poisoning right now. Uh, there you go. Replace the flare that I just used. Um, no, I don't want to update my computer. Remind me. Never. Close phone. Alright. Sorry about that. My computer. At least it gave me the, uh, the little notification this time. Like, hey, would you like to update? I did have that happen, uh, I want to say in my challenge series. Where, where my computer just, eh, you know, right in the middle of an episode decided to update. There was no, there was no warning, there was no nothing. Uh, decent mittens, I'm pretty sure that mine are better, but take them just in case. Walking on down here, a scarf, that's good. I don't even know what condition it is, but it's better than no scarf. Which is what we're currently wearing. Come on, Torch, where are you at? It's supposed to be a torch on the other side, here it is. Oh, come on. Okay, got the torch. I think it was actually in really low condition, but that's alright. Decent thin wool sweater. I have a thick wool sweater, so we're good. Uh, check the kitchen drawer out. New beef jerky, I'll take that. Uh, energy bar in good condition, I'll take that. Alright, pretty good. Put in the circular here. There's typically a knife on the floor. So this is like a, if you don't find a knife up until this point, and you need one to defend yourself, there's typically one laying right there. It's a uh, little, little tip. Um, it's a very odd noise. Uh, scrap metal, don't need that. Oh, I know you're hungry. Plastic container, don't need the fleece sweater, don't need that whetstone sitting there. Check the cabinets for the wonderful bounty that you can find in here. Yes, that's sarcasm. Uh, lockers? With Jack Diddley squat in them. Cool. All right, and then uh, I think I think the dead guy will be right up here. Yep, with the storm lantern. Uh, 0.14 gallons of kerosene. That's pretty good. So I'm going to uh, get end the episode here. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it here real quick, uh, just because it's wasting flare as I'm closing out here. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The 
links are in the description below uh, or to the side or I don't I don't know what you're watching YouTube on but you know it's it's in the description um, yeah so check out uh, check out my hopeless rescue series uh, while you're waiting for episode four and possibly the final episode uh, of this series and then uh, yeah check that out and I will uh, will see you next time thank you for watching